Today we're going to be going over the best run plays in Madden. So the easiest way to find these is you can go to your concept in your playbook. You can go to run and then you'll see all the different types of runs. Now we're going to go over some other runs that aren't on this list, but a lot of the basic ones are going to be here. And the first is a stretch run, which is also going to be classified under outside zone. Every playbook has usually a good amount of these and we're going to show you why this is considered usually the best run year in and year out for Madden and it doesn't really matter which one you use some of them are going to naturally work a little bit better than others so kind of get in the playbook that you use go to your concept go to stretch or outside zone runs and go to practice mode and mess around with them to see which ones you like better because honestly you know certain runs just are going to block a little bit better it's weird it doesn't always make sense in this game but some some formations with certain stretch runs are just going to block better than others so you want to go in your playbook kind of run each of them 10 to 15 times and see which ones work best for you but as you could see this is a big home run hitter in Madden you can take it to the outside sometimes you can cut it back up if there's an opening you just kind of have to read the running lanes now a key with the stretch run is you don't want to hold the turbo or like the acceleration button which would be the right trigger or R2 you don't want to spam it too quickly because sometimes that can cause the blocks to be shed sooner and also it makes it harder for you to read the running lanes you want to be able to read because like you see right there how it just opened up when you see a hole open up up, you want to take the hole when there's not a hole that's wide open you want to take it to the outside so it's important to kind of take your time with the stretch run read the lanes and then once you hit the open field then you mash the turbo now we're going to look at the halfback iso or the halfback dive and this is also one of the best runs every year it's just not as much of a home run hitter it's more of your safe tried and true let's try to get four to five yards up the middle it's the keep them honest run but this is one of the best runs in the game because it complements the stretch so well so if you find a formation that has a stretch it likely will have a dive or an iso as well and with that you can make them have to respect the inside and the outside the other reason the dives are so good is because the handoffs are typically pretty quick with this run so you get the ball in your running back's hands very quickly and once again don't mash that turbo or the acceleration button let the lanes develop read the lanes and navigate through them with the left joystick and then if you hit the open field like right here then you can start trying to put on that acceleration but you want to make sure that you're able to maneuver through the holes and kind of wiggle through and it's harder to do that when you're holding acceleration Next up, we're going to look at the halfback power O. This is also another very good run. I find that it works better when you flip this run to the opposite side. So to flip a run, you use the right joystick at the line of scrimmage. These runs are naturally going to the right, but I am flicking the right stick to the left before I snap it. And that's letting me run it to the left. And for me, I don't know if it's just like superstition or whatever. If it's in my head, I feel like the blocking just sets up way better with these runs to the left. Now, it's not one of the best runs in the game, but it's definitely one of the better ones I wouldn't put it up there with the stretch but the blocking can get really good on this one because you have multiple people pulling out in front of you and again I just find that when you flip it the opposite way I, I don't know if the handoff's just a little quicker or a little better I don't know what it is but it just feels like the lanes open up more when you do that now it doesn't mean it can't work going to the opposite side as you're going to see now you can run it the way it's intended but again go in practice mode for yourself try it out and see what you like better because for me I just find it feels more consistent when I flip it to the opposite side I don't know why it just seems like the blocking sets up better but you're seeing multiple examples here of huge runs that are able to happen when you still run it the way that it comes out as well this is another one that can be a home run hitter like the stretch or it can be you know the safe four to five yard gain it just depends how the block set up the next run is the 01 trap this one is kind of similar to the dive in the iso where it, this is your up the middle kind of keep them honest run try to get those four to five yards you do have those opportunities to break big runs sometimes but it's more of just kind of that tried and true safe run the difference between this and the dive is you have that pulling guard that traps the defensive tackle or usually one of the rushers one of the inside guys and it just opens up a nice lane as you can see and the thing with this is that if you're playing defense you can't stop this run the same way you can stop a halfback dive even though they're both very similar in going up the middle you have to shoot the gaps differently with the defender and a lot of times people have trouble shooting the gaps on this run because it's not as typical so they're not used to going against it they're used to going against dives so when you pull this out on people you might actually have more success with this than the halfback dive it just kind of depends who you're playing against and how well you use the runs you can also use this one out of shotgun as well all the other runs i recommend staying 
playing under center with, but this is actually good when you have a, uh, an 01 trap in a shotgun. It works very, very well from shotgun as well as you can see, and it's a good way to keep people honest when you have a nice pass game out of a shotgun formation, and then you're mixing in that 01 trap, and you can see, I mean, there's really wide running lanes with this run. Blocking just sets up nicely. Now we're going to look at the inside zone run. Now this is shotgun specific because there are under center inside zones that look similar to halfback dives. You don't want to run those because the handoff and the under center inside zones are just way too long and prolonged. Uh, they just, it just not, it's not good. It's not as good. Uh, the defense can react much better to them. But in shotgun, the inside zone is probably the best shotgun run every year because you can take it up the middle or to the outside as you're seeing in these clips. You kind of just read the lane. If you see a big gaping hole, take it up the hole. But if you see that the lanes are a little clogged, you can break it off to the outside like this very, very easily. And, and it's a very smooth transition turning it to the outside or cutting it upfield it doesn't feel like you don't have to plant very hard or or kind of have that weird movement when you break it outside it's just a very seamless uh pull to the outside when you just move your joystick there but this is going to be your main shotgun run it's in every single shotgun formation and if you're a shotgun passer you need the run to keep people honest and some people can run inside zone all day long they're just that good at running it and reading the running lanes and those people are annoying to play against now i want to show you some more specialty stuff we're going to go to the fullback dive and goal line this is in every playbook this is going to be your best short yardage and goal line run it's a very hard run to blow up it's a very hard run to stop if you get to like the two three one yard line and you run this multiple times you're almost always going to score i mean and nothing's a foolproof 100 but this is pretty darn close to it even when you get guys on you right there like a defender wrapping you up you're going to fall forward if you put a big power back at your fullback position you're going to truck forward a lot you know even if you're going up against goal line defense yourself goal line on goal line you can see you usually are going to get in there pretty easily now the last one I want to go over is the triple option now you can find this in certain playbooks this is the Ravens playbook it's sprinkled in some other playbooks as well out of pistol this is one of the best runs year in and year out in this game what you want to do is always hand it off to the fullback now you can sub your best running back in here whoever you want but basically when you hike the ball you want to hold down the a button on xbox or the x button on playstation and that's going to hand it off to the fullback now you can keep Keep it with the quarterback too if you if you're trying to catch him off guard you can attack the outside with this you can keep it with the QB or you could pitch it to the other running back behind you that's why it's called a triple option but I would say 90% of the time you want to hand it off to the fullback as you're going to see here the running lanes are just very very good and it doesn't matter which triple option there is there's multiple different pistol triple options the Ravens playbook is a good place to go to check this out because they have pretty much all of them in, in various pistol strong and weak and full house formations and just practice handing it off holding a or x to give it to the fullback and you'll notice this run is a very consistent five yard gainer and you can break big ones with it and this is one of the hardest runs to shoot the gap for defense again you can keep it with the QB you can pitch it to the guy behind you to keep him honest and mix some stuff in there, but just a very good three-headed monster run that is very hard to stop. It confuses people. Some people have no clue what to do against this. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Please consider subscribing and turning the bell icon on if you're new and you want to stay up to date on all the top Madden tips all year long.